but my dear friends wherefore comes the life to the mind if the mind gives life to the eyes the ears the nose the tongue and the skin to touch tell where it is that the mind is getting that energy where is the mind getting that life if i have to impart something to you i must have life and my life come from somewhere so the mind gives life my dear friends to these very beautiful eyes and ears and nose and so on but where it get its life from and we hear now it says here you know and swami chinmayananda gives us very nice example and he says when one says that i am seeing what really happens what really happens the light of consciousness my dear friends function in the mind is the eye atma that energy of god spark of the supreme energy it is what gives the mind life this mind of ours become very excited and experience pleasure by the consciousness that atma and atma my dear friends functions through the mind and it becomes the seer the hearer the smeller the taster and the toucher remember if atma does not use the medium of the mind we will not see the objects of the world we will not hear the objects of the world if atma function on its own within us all atma knows all atma will project your only experience will be that of absolute atma knows nothing about objects that energy of god my dear friends does not know about objects so when it centers itself and goes to the mind and energizes the mind that is what then we'll be able to see hear smell taste and touch